Hi, I'm Sime. I'm Alice. We're Sweet Jean and you're watching the AU Review. We've been having a ball. I mean, Canadians and us are uh, enjoying the first bout of the good weather <laughs> for a while, which has been pretty good. And uh, we had a lot of fun at um, on Thursday night. We played our first showcase. Yeah, and Toronto's just a great town. I'm sure more than one person from Melbourne has said how much it reminds them of home, you know. There are trams, there are bars, there's live music, and there are people are very friendly. We keep meeting people all the time. Taxi drivers, people in shops, everyone wants to have a chat and find out where you're from. It's nice. And the way people uh, respond to live music is really great. I think they're really attentive audiences and they're really enthusiastic. Uh, from what, like, from our showcase and ones that we've popped our heads into, it's it's been cool. Mm. With the uh, with the actual music you've seen as well, you know, and, and the, you know, what have you experienced musically? It's so broad, like, yeah, the, we've seen everything. Yeah, there's literally an <laughs> avalanche of music here. It's fan- it's just fantastic. It's I mean, hard to choose. There's been some great stuff this afternoon actually at this mm. showcase. I think this has probably been one of my highlights so far. It's a great opportunity. You know, it's funny, you come all the way to Toronto and you discover new Australian artists. Exactly, and it's <laughs> funny because, like, I, I thought, I, you know, I work in on a music show for radio and, uh, you know, we play music and I thought I was totally, you know, across mm. everything that's happening in Australia. And then I'm like, hang on, what? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen this person before. And, yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's a great part of it. Mm. To it, it certainly is. And... And I'm sure there are people in the room who are discovering you as well. You know, it's it always... Hopefully. We hope so. <laughs> we're going to play in about half an hour, so we're looking forward to spruiking our wares. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what's what's making up your sets. We're doing a bit of, um, like this afternoon, we're playing some old stuff from our first album, Dear Departure, which came out about a year and a half ago. Um, and basically a bunch of new songs that we've been working on as well that we're yeah. just we've just started recording those so they haven't been released or anything but um, we're, we're kind of happy with how they're coming together and we're looking for you know it's it's great to start you know getting on stage for the first time and starting to perform those new songs you know yeah. when you've had an album out for a while and you know you, you there, there are songs that you've been playing for a long time it always just feels so good to start performing new ones yeah <laughs> get them out of the studio and get on the stage yeah that's I, I always like that that part of the process when you yeah exactly it's uh, you know you, you get out of your bubble and see oh people like this or it doesn't work or exactly, you know, exactly. whatever whichever <laughs> whichever side of the coin it, it falls on totally and it's it's great when you start sort of I guess shifting the set so that you know you've got your older songs that you've been playing a while and you, you figure out the songs that are kind of keepers yeah uh, and they're the ones that stay in the set, and then you figure out out of the new batch which ones are gonna uh, uh, people are responding to. And I guess over time, you know, the more music you put out and the more you write, the stronger your sets get because you're kind of balancing all of those things, which is yeah, a nice point to get to. So tell us a little bit about the new music that you're working on. It's di- it's yeah. you I think go. it's different. I think on the first record we were. Uh, still working out of a strict, uh, stricter kind of folk idiom and on the new material we've sort of put down the banjo and we've got a couple of electric guitars on the go and it's um, yeah it's going to get a bit kind of dirgier and a bit more bit more city and a bit less country I think <laughs> yeah we're just having fun with it like we've, we, we um, so I'm renovated our laundry and turned it into a studio recently um, and I've just been having a ball going in there and just messing around with sounds. And so I think we're a lot more interested. Like the songwriting is still a big part of it, but also I think we've got a lot more control around the production and how it's sort of coming together sonically, which I'm really enjoying. So I think it is a bit grittier and we're kind of pushing it around a bit more production-wise. Which I'm really enjoying. Yeah, and we're not getting much laundry done, but we are getting <laughs> some songs written, which is good. Where's the, where's the laundry gone? Where has it uh, gone? Well, it's just... It's, just, it's sort of it's gone inside there. a cupboard. It's just smaller. Yeah, it's, right. it's still right next to our studio. We just can't, you know, obviously wash clothes and write songs at the same time. But that's okay. Um, what happens when you get... Oh, I, I guess, you know, at Canadian Music Week now, 
Um, are, are there more shows for you happening over here, or is it just? Uh, we're actually heading heading back after this. So, well, wow. we're, we're, uh, we're having a holiday on some trains, going down into New York, and then we're heading home after that. Oh, cool! You're and gonna we're going to be. Yeah, we've got a week in New York City and a couple of days in upstate. I talked, uh, I talked Alice into getting on trains instead of planes, so we're looking forward to travelling across the countryside. It's, a, it's apparently a really great, really great way to uh, get from... Uh, yeah, from yeah, I'm, I'm really looking Absolutely. forward to it. And then we're heading home, we're going to put out another single off this new record and, and just kind of, you know, get back into the laundry. <laughs> and sounds finish like, it. Sounds like it's needed. Sounds like it's needed. Are there going to be some more shows happening back home? We're actually like at exactly at the point where we're basically, you know, hibernating, retreating to the laundry and trying to, you know, write and record songs for the new album that's coming out. And that's kind of, you know, we're in that cycle at the moment, really. So later in the year, we'll be coming out when the sun comes out, I think. In August, we've got a bunch of um, dates tour dates and a couple of festival dates planned so that's when we'll be hitting the road again and hopefully you'll be coming back to this part of the world as well yeah absolutely we'd yeah, love yeah. to yeah start of start of a long love affair i'm sure <laughs> thank you very much for your time thanks, thanks for having us all the best